Hello, and welcome back to the Toronto website developer.com. I am PD Worst DD Toronto website developer. And in the seventh video tutorial on Bootstrap, I want to show you how we can create a Bootstrap slideshow. But before we do that, you'll notice I'm over at my site, Toronto website developer.com. Here you can purchase my video tutorials as I complete them. Uh, purchase the entire series for only $20. The more you buy, the more you save. Uh, additionally, you can find a link to buying my book here, How to Become a White Hat Hacker. Uh, minimum purchase $9.99, but suggested price of $19.99. Um, all sales go to help me to continue to develop these tutorials, keep them free, keep them frequent. Alternatively, if you can't afford the $20, please just leave a thumbs up or leave a comment on YouTube. Both are greatly appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, I track out all those metrics as well as YouTube, who uses them to help promote these video tutorials. All of that said, I'm back over at localhost slash bootstrap and I'm at complete.html. And here's an example of the slideshow we're going to be creating. I'm actually going to scale it in because my images are so large so you can get an idea of what we're doing here. But you can see I've got two different arrows, chevrons, uh, so you can scroll back and forth. And then I've got a nice indicator down here uh, where we can actually look at the images. And if you just hover off of it, it will rotate itself. I'm also going to show you how we can add captions, but that'll be uh, step number two. So with all that said, why don't we jump right into the code? I'm just going to close that window there and head back over to, oops, head back to Vim editor. And so you'll see here, I've got index.html. So I've gone ahead and I've opened that. And this is previously what we had. I should have showed you that before. So if we go to index.html, and we just scroll this out here, this is what we previously had, um, our three tutorials. Um, but we want to actually add a slideshow to this. And the way that we do that is going in, and I'm going to copy the code. We're going to have three different sections to a, a carousel. That's you need indicators, you need a wrapper for your slides, and then you need controls. Um, but before we do that, we have to add a div that surrounds all of that. So here in index.html, I've got my container. Remember the container wraps all of our actual content. I'm gonna slide all of my content down because I want my slideshow to be above that. You can obviously place it wherever you like, but here for the example, I've got it right in at the top of my container. So as I mentioned, we're gonna have a div that's gonna wrap all of those three different um, uh, pieces to the carousel. That carousel is what it's called, not a slideshow, but you'll probably know it as a slideshow. Um, so that div is gonna have an ID, it's gonna have a class, and then it's gonna have what's called a data ride um, attribute. And so the ID, you can call it whatever you want. So for me, I've called it dog carousel. You just have to note that because you're gonna use it later. Uh, in terms of the classes, you have to provide two classes uh, and without them, this won't work. So the first is carousel and the second is slide. And then lastly, as I mentioned, you have to add data ride and that has to be equal to carousel. If you forget that, this won't work. Uh, so make sure that those three things are added. Uh, carousel, slide, both within the classes and then data ride is there. So as I mentioned, our first thing is gonna be our indicators. These are the little circles down at the bottom which denote um, which image we're on. And so it's going to be an ordered list, OL, and it has to take the class carousel indicators. We're going to have however many list items or however many images that you're showing, you're going to have that many list items. So for me, I have four images, so I have four list items. So you're going to add a data target, and that's going to be pointed to the dog carousel. So as I mentioned before, our ID is dog carousel, so the data target is going to be dog carousel. Then you have to add a data dash slide dash two. And this is going to start uh, numerically from the number zero. It's going to go, um, you know, increment for each each image. And so I have four images, so I have zero to three. If you had another one, it would be four or five, six, seven, uh, and so on. For whatever image you want it to begin with, you have to add the class uh, equals active. Without that, again, the slideshow won't work. So make sure that you have class equals active. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. Next thing, we're going to grab our grab our wrapper for the slides. And so that's going to be pasted in just below the unordered list, again, within the div with the ID dog carousel. So here we've got my wrapper. Um, we've got a div class of carousel inner, and the role is the list box. So again, remember to add those. And then for each one of the items, I've got a div wrapping it. Um, and that div has to take at least the class item. But again, you want to denote something being active to begin. So that's why this first item has active, which corresponds to the OL uh, up above where I had it listed as active here. So within each div, I'm providing an image with a source. It just so happens that I named my images 01.jpg. You could obviously name them whatever you want. Um, and this would probably be done dynamically. So um, yeah, whatever image that you have. Uh, and that's how you add those. The last step that you have to do is add your controls. 
And so we're just gonna copy this and close and copy our closing div. So these are your anchor tags. Uh, and here we're gonna have a class for one side, you're gonna have left, the other side, you're gonna have right. And then you also wanna include carousel control. Again, you have to have that. The href for these is gonna correspond to the ID of whatever you called it up above. Remember I had dog carousel. And then you wanna add role equals button, and then you wanna have the data slide. And this is gonna to correspond to the previous and then correspond to the next. Within this here, you'll see I've got a span class, glyph icon, glyph icon, chevron left. Um, that's what gives me that little arrow on the left side. You don't have to use that. I think the alternative, bear with me for a second here, is icon previous and icon next. I won't bother showing it to you, but you would just take out the span classes here um, with the glyph icons and you would just include icon dash previous. So it would look something like, um, icon dash prev and then the other one would be icon dot next uh, but we're going to leave it as glyph icons and then here um, i think it's the screen readers only that's what that denotes um previous you just want to have that so that there's text i believe it's screen readers only i'm not entirely sure uh, and then i closed up my div so with all that said if i head back to my site now and i reload index.html you'll see that i have uh, my slideshow i've got my my controls down at the bottom and it's responsive where if I slide this in, this all um, responds to the media size. And so I can go ahead and I'll just leave it there so we can see this. Because the next step that I'm gonna show you is how we add an actual caption to this. So here where I have image, I'm gonna add a div class equals carousel caption. And then I'm gonna add an h3, it's gonna be called daily lounging. And then I'll add a P tag here. This is uh, Bailey enjoying some sun. And then I'm gonna close that up. And so I'm gonna copy all of these and change them up just a little bit so you can actually see the text changing so that you know I'm not lying. So here, we'll just put this as Susie, Susie, and then we'll just be uh, Bailey sleeping, drawing some Oops, Z's, and then we'll do the same thing here. We'll just copy these and put Susie in there. Right, so now we have our captions. We go back over here, we reload our page, and you'll see that we get the, the nice H3 there. We get the P tag below it, and if we scroll through, you'll see each one of them changes. They all have their own caption. Um, and this, I mean, obviously white doesn't necessarily bode well for some of the images. Uh, you can change this if you just inspect. You can see kind of what's going on here. Um, the glyph icon is, is an image, so you wouldn't necessarily want to play with that one. Um, but in terms of the captions, you can open these guys up. If you go to your carousel, inner wrapper, go to your item. And then you can see your carousel caption. Here's what the actual HTML looks like. So you can see it's using color. Uh, if I updated this, let's just make it black for the sake of argument. You can see that there's black. So you can obviously change that with your own CSS. Um, but that's it. That's how you have a, a bootstrap slideshow. Um, again, any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube. I'm happy to help out. Um, and if this video tutorial helped you, please give a thumbs up. Let me know. I uh, greatly appreciate all the feedback, and hopefully we'll see you for tutorial number eight. Thanks very much for watching.